We all want to improve our scores in golf. We all want to play better. So today's video guys is for all of you who are trying to decrease their handicaps, who are trying to break 90 with four simple tips that I'm going to give to you. When you practically implement them on the course, I guarantee that your handicaps will come down, your scores will be better, and you will feel great about your day of golf that day. So I'm telling you just four simple tips. Please watch them, follow them, and please leave a comment below and how that helped your game. Let's see how that goes. So guys, tip number one, very importantly, always aim for the center of the green. Whether you're playing on par threes, whether you're approaching to a par four or a par five, do not go for that hero shot because the flag is on the right or flag is on the left as it is behind me. Go for the center of the green, secure the green and have that confidence that you can putt this in for a par. But when you try hitting right to the flag as the one behind me, it's quite possible you might miss it further to the right, making that chip and par very difficult or you might overcompensate and miss the green on the left or hit it short. So just try to aim for the center of the green and you will find automatically your scores will go down. So tip number two and keep this in mind it will really help you because you know we all as golfers hit that one shot so flush on the club it goes the distance you want or even goes more than your usual distance and after that you're thinking oh wow my seven iron goes 175 yards and i'll keep hitting my seven iron actually that's where the problem comes in i always say club up if you're trying to break 90 if you don't play golf as often as you'd like to pick a club up because you won't be hitting it too hard then you won't be trying so badly to get on the green but you could just club up and easily hit your swing and get on the green because like I always say getting on the green is where you'll get your bars from so try your best to do that so just club up if you're hitting an 8 iron hit a 7 iron if you're hitting a 9 iron hit an 8 iron just club up one and hit it smoothly to get your ball on the green this will always help trust me it will really help that is a perfect shot guys and this is ideally a pitching wedge distance for me and I casually hit my nine iron to get myself on the green and I actually have a birdie putt on that shot so club up it will truly help you tip number three you need to reduce your shots on the green. Three putt are your worst enemies. A very simple thing to reduce that and make sure you make two putts is to not bother yourself too much with whether it's coming from the right and how much from the right or from the left. Don't think too much about the direction of the putt. Focus more on the speed because we want to be within three feet of the hole to make the putt easier for ourselves. Over here, for example, this is a downhill putt for me. So I know that the speed will be very important, a little more actually than the line itself. I don't want to smack this 10 feet ahead of the hole and make my second putt more difficult. So I'm not even looking at whether it's coming from the right or left. All I'm concerned with is that I need to play this downhill putt. Tell about this. I'm going to imagine that this is my hole not this over here, to make sure that the ball ends up somewhere over here. I'm okay whether it stays behind the hole or ahead of the hole, but I want to make two putts. So you see over here, I just have a one foot putt for a par. I can easily tap this in for a par and I've secured myself two putts and make a par on the green. So it's very important guys, do not go for the direction right now. Just go for the speed, focus on that. I'll post a link of a speed drill on the greens that I've posted before. Look at that, watch it, and I make sure that you will make two putts on the green and you will break 90. So guys, last tip, tip number four and very importantly, 
it is okay to make a bogey right it is a passage of every golfer to come down in their handicap and decrease it but you need to stop making the double bogeys and the triple bogeys a bogey is good enough for us right now the pars will come so if you find yourselves in the bunker or in some rough grass or somewhere else where there's a tree in front of you take your medicine make a bogey ensure a bogey rather as opposed to hitting that amazing shot that you might hit once in 50 times right forget that you want consistency as i always say so take a club get the ball out of the bunker first and then make and secure a bogey so i over over here in my stance of have a pitching wedge the hole is about 190 yards from here i can try hitting my five iron but again the likelihood is really less for me to do it so i'm going to hit my pitching wedge over here to make sure i put my ball back in play and then i can make my bogey so i'm going to hold the club a little shorter than i normally do i'm going to place the ball a little back of my stance and i'm going to just easily swing this not right i want to make sure that the connection is good easy i'm going to go back and and I'm out of the bunker. I've put the ball back in play. I'm easy in making my bogey now. And this is how you reduce your handicap and break 90. Trust me.